Hi, this is Mrs. S. I'm here to show you how to make an edible color wheel. So I'm going to go over all the supplies you need. I already pre-scooped five of my tin, parts of my tin with frosting. I'm going to do the last one to show you how to scoop. Um, so I'm going to start with the frosting. You can use any brand. It just has to be vanilla. You need the three primary colors of food coloring, yellow, red, and blue. Those are our primary colors. You need six cookies. I use Nilla wafers. You don't have to use Nilla wafers. You can use whatever type of cookie you want. Um, these are This is my frosting tin. Um, six things so that then I have six cookies. You don't have to use a muffin tin. You could use um, a Tupperware container. You could use foil. You could use a lid to a Tupperware container. Whatever works for you. This is my plate. You don't have to write the colors on it. I wrote the colors on it so that you can see where each cookie goes. If you want to write your colors on your colorware, you can. Um, I have this to mix. You don't have to have a straw to mix. I just think it's a little easier than a spoon. You could use the back of a spoon. That would work just as well. So I'm going to scoop the last scoop of frosting. And I do have two spoons. That's up to you. If you want to use your finger, you can use your finger. But I opted to use a spoon. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with red because that's the first color in the color wheel and red is our primary color. So I'm going to start with red and we'll put just a few dots in to start, well drops. This is the gel food coloring. If you don't have a gel you should use dots. I just squeeze some in and then I'm going to mix. Now just because it is, um, it is red food coloring mixed with white it is going to be a little pink but that's just what happens when you mix so it's going to be a little lighter than red but it will still give you the idea that it's red for the color wheel so i give it a good mix And then I'm going to turn my straw over and I'm going to mix the yellow. And I'm going to mix all the colors first before I make the color wheel because you're going to have to have all the colors ready before you start applying the frosting. So then the last one, this middle one, is going to be orange. So you're actually going to take a little bit of yellow a little more yellow than you need red because the red will surpass the yellow in the mixing. So I'm just going to do a little drop for now. You can add some if you need some. I'm going to use the other side of my mixing tool and you'll see it will turn orange. Now this was the perfect amount of red. I, if I added any more red it would be too red to be our orange. And then I'm going to use this paper towel and wipe this off so that I can do the other two colors. So the other two colors, I take the blue and I did less blue in this one just because there's less frosting. So that would be the blue, straight out of the bottle. And then I'm going to turn this over again. And I'm going to put yellow in this one. And again, you want a lot of yellow, but not much of the blue. This is going to be the green, because the yellow and the blue will make the green. And then I can use this side, again, so I don't have to keep washing, to mix, and I'll get a green frosting. And then I have to use this side of my mixer, do some red. And now the purple, you can do even. You can do the same amount of red as you can blue. 
because both of those colors have the same power that it will just make it purple without getting too dark. And then I have all my colors. So then the last step would be, and I'm gonna wipe this off before I put it down, to scoop your frosting onto your cookies. And they don't have to be beautiful, you're just gonna eat it anyway. It's just the idea that you learned about color mixing. So then I can take this spoon and use it again for orange. The only thing is you should mix. Now, if any of you know, you shouldn't take this orange spoon and stick it in the yellow. It's not gonna go well. So I'm gonna have to put my orange cookie down and either use a paper towel to wipe your spoon or just lay it down and get a different spoon or a different mixer. Now I can't use this yellow unless I use it in green. So I'm gonna go to the green next. And I mix first, always mix first. And then I go like this. And it's working out that I'm doing it in this pattern and you can put them right down because I'm mixing with the same colors over and over again. So they're actually going in order this way. And then the last thing I need is another tool to do the blue which actually the straw is working the best to frost in, better than the spoon. And then I can use this again. I just gotta mix first. And there is the color wheel. Thank you, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you need to, you can always slow down the video, um, pause the video, get more supplies, whatever you need. You don't have to continue going as the video goes. Um, I'll be posting more videos, thank you so much.